This video is going to review the concept of work. Work occurs anytime we give energy to an object. Your book defines work as having two conditions. One is that the applied force must make the object move. And the other is that the movement must be in the same direction as the applied force. As you can see in the picture, when you're lifting a stack of books, your arms are apply a force upward and the books move upward. The force and the, and the distance are in the same direction, so you're doing work. In the opposite picture, because the force applied to the books is up and you are moving in a distance that's perpendicular to that force, in that picture, work is not being done. We calculate work by the equation work or W is equal to force times distance, or W is equal to F times D. When we go and multiply force by distance, we get kilograms times mu squared over second squared, also known as a joule. We can apply this equation to word problems to calculate work. In the sample problem on the screen, it says, you push a refrigerator with a force of 100 newtons. If you move the refrigerator a distance of 5 meters while you are pushing, how much work do you do? Let's identify our variables. We have a force of 100 newtons. We have a distance of 5 meters. And what we don't know is work. We need our equation. Work is equal to force times distance. And we can plug our values in. We are applying a 100 Newton force times our 5 meters distance. We should get 500 joules. So let's see how those units work out. We know that Newtons, so kilograms, times meters per second squared. And when we multiply kilograms, meters per second squared, times meters, we get kilograms times meters squared over second squared, or a joule. Let's try another simple problem. A couch is pushed with a force of 75 newtons and moves a distance of 5 meters across the floor. How much work is done in moving the couch? Let's identify our variables. The force is 75 newtons. The distance is 5 meters. And we don't know the work being done. We're going to use our equation. Work is equal to force times distance. We'll plug in our values. Force is 75 newtons, and distance is 5 meters. When we multiply those together, we get 375 kilograms per meter, meters per second squared times meters, which is a joule. That's our final answer. In review, when we're calculating work, we need to know the force and the distance an object is moving. We know that work is being done if the object moves in the same direction in which the force is applied. 